Lamu are slowly embracing BT cotton, a genetically modified variety that outperforms conventional cotton in both yield and resilience. On this week's edition of Smart Farm, our reporter Dennis Otieno visited the county of Lamu to explore why BT cotton is being hailed as a game changer for dryland agriculture in Kenya. In the semi-arid lands of Mpeketoni, Lamu County, farming has long been a gamble against nature. Unpredictable rainfall, extreme temperatures and relentless pests make agriculture a daunting task. Yet amid these harsh conditions, one crop is defying the odds. BT cotton. Genetically engineered to resist pests and diseases, BT cotton is thriving in Kenya's drylands, offering farmers like Susan a resilient alternative to traditional varieties. Unlike conventional cotton, which is highly susceptible to pests and requires extensive pesticide use, BT cotton has an inbuilt resistance to the destructive bollworm pest. This significantly reduces the need for chemical sprays, cutting farming costs and minimizing environmental impact. Spearheading the expansion of BT cotton in Kenya is the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, AATF, a non-profit organization dedicated to transferring agricultural technology to smallholder farmers. Their efforts are bringing this drought-resistant and pest-resilient crop to remote regions where traditional farming methods struggle to succeed. Uh, farmers previously had uh, to use a lot of oh, um, chemicals in controlling bollworm. But because of BT cotton, which gives the cotton plant 100% protection against uh, that uh, worm, meaning that farmers are able to reduce the cost of production because they use less chemicals. Then number two, uh, BT cotton being a hybrid, is a high yielder, it's a high performing crop. So farmers are able to get higher harvest from it. BT Cotton's ability to thrive with minimal water makes it an ideal choice for Kenya's dryland farmers. As extreme weather patterns become more frequent, more farmers are turning to crops that can withstand these challenges while ensuring steady yields and improved incomes. Manake kuhuna ya kwanza ile ya kitambo kwa ikari moja likuwa inatuwa 32. Alafu ya pili utapata kama 15 hapo. Lakini sasa hii biti tangu ikuje katika ekari moja, niliona kama sasa ukilime ekari moja inanipea kama almost 50 paika. Na bado unaona bado inaendelea bado, inaendelea bado kumipa mazao. Tulipanda mwezi watano, mwezi wanane, watu wameanza kuvuna around three months. Unaweza enda tata round ine, ukitunza vizuri. However, despite its promise, the adoption of BT cotton is not without hurdles. The initial cost of seeds and access to the right farming inputs remain key concerns for many smallholder farmers. Beyake iko juu sana kwa sababu kilo moja nasikia iko zaidi ya shilingi karibu 1500 zaidi ya shilingi 1500. Si wakulima wengi wataweza kununua hiyo mbegu. Changamoto yetu kubwa ni vile tunaweza kukuza hiyo mbegu yetu hapa nchini kwetu ili tupunguze bei ya ile mbegu. Kwa sasa mbegu inatoka India na na na, na bei yake eh, bado iko juu kwa sababu ya transport costs from India mpaka hapa Still the success of BT cotton in Kenya's drylands is part of a broader movement toward climate smart agriculture In 2024 alone Lamu County produced over 2.6 million metric tons of seed cotton and with BT cotton gaining traction many farmers expect those numbers to rise
With more homegrown and high yielding cotton, many farmers are now hopeful that this will pave the way for a sustainable and economically viable future for the country's agricultural sector. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.